Hey y'all look. Something picked up that crawdad. Something picked up that crawdad. Something picked up that live crawdad. It's pulling drag too. All right, y'all. Down here on the river, downtown, Wichita. Yes, sir. We down here on the Arkansas River, doing some afternoon springtime catfishing. We're gonna try to pull out a flathead today. This afternoon. Got my gear down here already. Yeah, tip of the day. When you flathead fishing during the day, stick to structure if you want to catch a flathead during the day. Yeah, man, I'm about to get set up. I'll see y'all in a minute. First bait we going with today, craw daddy. I'm gonna start one of these craw daddy. I got these tweezers. You ain't gonna pinch me. Shut up, y'all. All right, first bait of the day. Got one of them live crawdads. Hook them right under the tail. Do the bottom out the top, just like that. We're gonna put this crawdad out there first. I'm gonna start with this today. Yeah, like I said, when y'all fishing during the day, daytime fishing for flatheads, you wanna stick to structure. The structure we fishing today, we gonna stick to this bridge, these pillars on this bridge. I'm gonna put some baits, a live bait closer. I'm gonna put this crawdad in the middle. I'll probably put a bluegill out there a little bit to the right. But yeah, we got this first bait. We gonna go on and get this out there. Let me check one. Check my drag. Drag is good. All right, let's get it out there. We got a live crawdad going out. We got all live baits today. We're gonna put him on the bottom on this uh, Carolina. Boom! We got that live crawdad out there. I put him on the bottom. I think that's the most natural presentation for a crawdad is just to put him on the sinker slot and throw him on the bottom. Throw the clicker on, we're gonna see if something wanna pick it up. All right, I got some more baits to get out there. All right, man, <clears throat> let's get one of these bluegills out there. Nice live bluegill. He, he nice and lively too. All right, uh, down here on this rig, we just got a three-way with a rattle on it. So yeah, I like to hook these bluegills. We using all eight eye whisker seeker triple threads today. Him right in the back, right back here, right above that lateral line. Just like that, just like that. Got that three way, got a rattle on there, a float above, just to keep the line up. I'm gonna put this bluegill out there on this three way. Got a lot of bluegill going out there. A lot of bluegilly. He ready to go swimming. Boom. It's game time. We got the bait set. Let's see if we can pull out an afternoon flathead. Hey, hey, hey. 
Look, y'all soon picked up that blue gear. I think you got it. We got something. Ah, oh, it looks like one of his guards. Oh, he dropped it. Almost. It was a gar. Oh, it was? There's yeah. a dead one floating down there by that yellow or orange jug. It's about that big. Yeah, it was just a gar. He popped off the hook, though. It was bait, oh. bait too big for him. He okay. tried to get it. That's quite a rig you got there. I've, I've never seen that. I, I fish a lot, but uh, I haven't seen that rig. So good luck to you. Thank you. Wow, it was a gar, man. He, he fell off right there. That's crazy. Try to eat my bluegill. Still got my bait though. Yeah, that was a big gar. Ooh, I've been waiting for a bite all day. Yeah, he took off with that blue gear. He picked it up and all that. He didn't get the hook in enough. We almost landed one. up on something. Something picked up that crawl at it. Oh. Huh? Get that <laughs> he picked up that crawl at it. Oh yeah. He wanted yeah, that crawl at it. Bust my pole the other day. Bust your pole. I'm trying to get a flathead off this structure. Man. Huh? Nah, he on here. Oh, yeah. Big old drum. Big drum. See that size of that drum, dog? I caught a gar like an hour ago. Yeah. Big old gar. Yeah. Yeah, those, those uh, carp are spawning. They spawning? Yeah, I seen uh, like up here at this bridge up here. Uh huh. Like 40 of them. 40, yeah, that's good. Flathead yeah. bait. Yeah. All right, good luck. All right, bro. Got a big old trunk. He gonna be bait. He gonna be bait. Let me stick that in there. Grab him a little bit. Let me get my fish grips. I think I got them. Nah. I didn't bring my fish grips. Ugh. I'm gonna just have to land him. Right, let's get this fish. 
fish up here. Woo! Big old drum. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. It came all the way up by his eye. Look at that, y'all. Nice little drum. Should I use him for bait or put him back? I don't know. It's such a hard decision. I think I'm going to just go on and put him back. He wanted that crawl, daddy. He wanted the crawl, daddy. Hey, let's get him back, man. I ain't gonna use him for bait. He's kind of big. All right, Doc. He out. Man, that was a good catch. They got a floating dead fish right here. Sweet. We on the board then. Hey, big old drum. Ain't a flathead, but I'll take it. And a catfish, but it's a surprise. All right, y'all. It's been another hour, man. Probably about to head out of here. Afternoon almost over. Yeah, man, we about to get out of here. It's been a good afternoon. Didn't catch no catfish, though. Get out of this spot. Oh, that bluegill look tangled up. He's been down. He's been down there swimming for real. Look at his little butt. He's way up there on my. Look at him. He done made it up there. Look at that dog. He done made it way up here. He's swimming out there on that three-way though. I like this rig. Yeah, man, it's time to get out of here. Go get me some lunch. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe if y'all want to see more like it. Until the next one, y'all. I'm out. Peace.